Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for November 23rd, 24th, 25th, and 26th, Monday through Thursday, for my Tauruses, my sweet, sweet Tauruses. How are you? I hope you're wonderful. Now, you know that when I'm doing, when I'm reading for Monday through Thursday, I'm using now three decks. I'm using Radley Valentine decks for the main reading. I use Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main, and then I pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I am then pulling one from Emily Anderson Crystal card, because it's just kind of fun to do. Anyway, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Okay. Now, I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to my higher power, whatever the message is. My job is just to deliver it. Oh, and we already have a card that's popped out. We have the world. And let's go on and see what else we might have for my Tauruses. Um, we have also, um, just to kind of give you an overview, Mercury had been, uh, yeah, Mercury's been going direct in Scorpio. We've talked about that, but the, the shadow of retrograde is now over. So Mercury, with, and, uh, Mercury, which is about communications, and Scorpio, Scorpio, it's like laser focus. So expect to hear more communications now, we also have Venus in Scorpio, and now lot, this is very passionate, but it's also deep, deep passion. So expect to have some really strong passion. I'm feeling like these two will be walking together. A lot of times we like Venus in Scorpio because we think it's about love, but it's about relationships. So it could be your personal, your intimate, your interpersonal could be about your work, job, career. It could also be about your home, family. It could be even bigger than that. So I'm feeling like there's going to be extremely, you know, I've been talking about that too. There's going to be strong, passionate communication, especially coming up for us. Now, let's see. We, ha we don't have anything that is reversed. Reversed cards have a little stronger energy. Let's see what we have for my Tauruses. Now, we've been talking about things opening up for you. Yes, and I know that things are shifting again, but in other ways, in other ways, because you're starting to use more of your creativity, because you're starting to use more of your stubbornness, you are making some opportunities open up for you, okay? You are, you know, I feel like you're just kind of sitting at your command center and you're just kind of like, okay, sending something out to that one, sending something out to that one. You don't have to have a command center. This center, this is what I'm visualizing. This is what I'm getting. But it's like you're just, you're just on top of it. You're sending things out to anybody or everybody that can help you, you know, to get further in whatever this is that you want. Now, I do feel that this is very much, we are getting back to that career-centered or that career-centric goals. Okay, and I feel like this week, even though now we do have in the United States on Thursday, we do have Thanksgiving. And so I do wish you all a happy Thanksgiving, whether you celebrate it or not. There's always something we can feel blessed by. But it's just, I feel like you might, Tauruses, and you're just kind of like, okay, I see that. I know that you're very much on top of it. Okay, but this is the world, you know, so... We have a 21, so we have a 2 with a 1, decisions, new starts. Now we have a 3. 3 has that has that Trinity type of vibe to it too. So there could be that, um, you know, that extra sensory or extra, um, or, you know, that supernatural type of blessing over it also, okay? Archangel Michael. Remember Michael in, you know, when you need that little bit of extra help, he is the warrior energy, the warrior angel. He doesn't, you know, the archangels don't come for kicks and giggles. They come because they have a message to bear or to bring to you. Now, this is, and I should put on my uh, glasses. Here we go. A very happy ending coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. Now, next card, Ace of Raphael. Now, Aces have that new beginning. Raphael is water energy. 
So you could be hearing news from Scorpio, but this is also Pisces and Cancer, fluid, emotional. So whatever this is, you know, again, you're at your command center and you're you're just like so on top of everything, my Taurus is. I mean, you, you know, you're very hands-on with everything and it's almost like you're micromanaging everything, but you're really not. You're just like you're just like spotting all of the all of the deficiencies, you're spotting all of the efficiencies also. So then there's this, you know, this ace of Raphael that comes. This this you are so invested in this whole scenario. Now, you will be you will be called to focus towards one of these, but right now you're like spreading things out and you're you're covering all your bases, okay? Or, you know, what it, you know, if you were a better um, you know, a betting person, you're covering all your bets, okay? This is really kind of but there's this you know, there is a path that you want to go down. You're kind of hoping for that one, but you're not necessarily um, eliminating the other choices either. Okay. A positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. And that's the one thing for you, my Taurus, is you do have a very strong psychic connection. Your last card here is the High Priestess. And I was telling you, you have that strong psychic connection. This is Archangel Heniel. Twos are some choices. Now, this could be, do you listen to that psychic connection? Do you listen to your own ego? Do you listen to what you want to do? Or do you listen to where you're being guided? Those are some of your choices. Those will be your choices. Either one is okay. So don't, don't think, you know, that, oh my gosh, I, I did this because I really wanted to. You know, the other, you know, choices... Choices, um, we sometimes cycle back. But I told you about, you know, to listen to yourself, listen to that psychic voice, and, you know, really, really pay attention. Now, the High Priestess is powerful psychic insights, reflection, and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. Okay? So even that, like I said, even though you're, you're monitoring all the situation. You're, you know, you're at the, your command center. You know, you're, you see where you want to go. You know where you want to go. You're, but you're not precluding. You're not saying no to the other opportunities. And in many ways, it's like you know that maybe that's the way I want to go. But I know that higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, my divine archangels want me to go this way. Okay. So you'll you'll keep an open mind with that. And you will do, you know, you will do what, you know, you will do what you will do. Here we go. Okay. Face down. The wheel. The wheel. Remember last year, um, in the beginning of the year, before all of this stuff happened, you were kind of, you were on your way. Um, you know, so you have the world, you have the high priestess, you have Archangel Michael again. And this is 10, 10 could be a one, new start. This is 10, transitioning forward. The wheel is pushing forward. You might be coming full circle. You might be coming to something that was there last year, might be opening up again for you this year, okay? And again, too, at the end of Sagittarius, there's a lot of that Aquarius energy that really is going to be very positive. So this is the wheel, Archangel Michael. Michael's going to be big for you this week. A time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. Now let's go ahead. Let's see. Now I'm not telling you to buy a crystal, okay? Or some of these can be rare gems also, so I'm not telling you to do that. Um, I just think this is fun, and, but if you have it, you may want to um, carry it with you this week. Here we go. Now this one is reversed. Here we go. Moldavite, Moldavite. Now this little puppy is, is not cheap, okay? And it's not easy to find. This is Moldavite, okay? You see it's translucent. Some people will say it has a plastic look to it, but it doesn't feel plastic at all. And in fact, what I like Moldavite, um, you can feel a lot of vibrations if you're, if, you're a, if you're sensitive to crystals. I'm not so much sensitive to it, but I like to hold this. It's almost like having a cup of coffee or it's like, you know, I, I don't smoke, never smoked. It's, or it's like having that cigarette. It's like um, a little bit on that addicting side for me. So I like to hold it. I like to feel it. Anyway, Moldavite, healing, 
protection, telepathy, connection. But to give you an honest on what this is, I had to order it from Amazon. I was a little worried, and it cost $37. So it's not cheap. It's only this little thing. Anyway, if you have it, carry it with you. Okay? Okay. So, um, like I said, this is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, it's not bad to think of the things that you are blessed, you know, what your blessings are. My Tauruses, you are definitely a blessing to me, so thank you. Remember the button, like, share, subscribe. You know, stuff is going on with YouTube, so please, please, please. I have no idea how this will affect our channel, but anyway. As always, my Tauruses, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.